Hi guys, how are you doing? So today we're going to take a look at the NZXT Z63. Now this is a beautiful looking 280mm AIO, but is it really worth £225? It's a lot of money. Um, today we're going to unbox it, we're going to install it, we're going to test it, and I'll let you know what I think. Okay guys, let's unbox the Kraken Z63 AIO. Okay, so the first thing we've got is the component list. Um, that'll just obviously tell you what screws and brackets and, and all that you've got, and uh, probably instructions how to, uh, to, to set it up. So first up we have uh, two 140 fans. PWM, um, to be fair they're pretty decent, um, especially for stock fans, um, we won't be changing these out today, um, have all of our adapters, so I can see right there we've got the AMD, um, we've got the back plate for the uh, Intel, um, and all the screws and nuts and bolts you could uh, you could hope for. Okay, so if you look at the, uh, the radiator and the pump, um, it's a nice size, um, 280 is so much uh, bigger than a, than a 240 that I've been using recently. It's, it's very nice, nice and chunky, um, and kind of there's a bit of a reassurance with that, really. Um, the pump um, is massive. Um, <laughs> it's like the size of an apple. Um, you probably don't really get to appreciate the size of it um, unless you've got it in your hand. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a big old beast. Um, up the top there, we've got a couple of uh, ports, one for um, your USB, so you can control the pump head. Uh, the other, and uh, in your fans and all that, and then the other one for power, um, that's nice. Um, on the back, we've got a, a nice dollop of uh, pre-installed thermal paste, um, which is nice. Um, the tubes are, are nice and nice and flexible, um, as you normally expect with NZXT. Um, this is typically how they advertise the products um, in this sort of orientation, and obviously you're not going to be disappointed there. So when you buy the Z63, um, this is what you get in the box. You need a couple of uh, 140 fans, the radiator and the pump combo. We've got our brackets and screws and bolts in the list out in the other here. Um, we've got our USB and power cables and we've got our instructions. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get this bad boy installed and uh, see how good it is. Guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to install the AIO. Um, first thing to do is put the back plate on, so we're going to do that. And because we're using a 1200 series CPU, um, we use the 11 5x uh, standoffs and don't be concerned that there's a little bit of rattling there um, because the pressure of the pump will actually uh, hold it in place absolutely no problems at all this is to be expected so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the fans on the aio and what we're going to do is we're going to do a pull configuration um, so the fans are going to be like this um, and going to pull air off of the fan off of the aio this way
So if we take a look at the test system, um, it's a 10700K, 32 gigabyte of RAM at 3600, um, the RX 6800 at stock, um, everything was run at 60%, so that's the CPU, the GPU, and the case fans. So when it came to the testing, what we did was run Valley for 15, Battlefield 1 for 15, we did Cinebench for 10 minutes, and we also rendered a video for 12 minutes in DaVinci Resolve. And the cooling is very, very good. Now, I was expecting these sort of figures based on the H100i. Um, so yeah, three to four degrees extra is very good, um, but obviously you know, bigger fans, um, bigger radiator. Um, but yeah, overall, very impressed. Guys, so I've been using the AIO now for a few days, and I've really enjoyed using it, to be honest. The, the cooling is really good, um, the display is gorgeous. Um, but what I don't like about it is the price tag. You know, £225 is just way too much for an AIO. Now, I didn't pay that and I, and I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. Now, what I would do is I would spend my money on the X63 or the X63 RGB. Now, they come in about 125 to 140 um, for the uh, non-RGB version and then about 160 with the RGB fans. And I just think that it just offers such a better value proposition. You know, essentially the same cooler um, and it just comes down to like the pump really and kind of whether you want to display the information, have a GIF on there or whatever it is. Ultimately, it is a gimmick. Um, it doesn't add any value to your system um, in terms of cooling. It just makes it look a bit prettier, you know. Um, people use RGB fans all the time, and I think probably that's the way to go, really. You kind of spend a little bit of money on RGB fans, maybe look to upgrade your CPU, um, and you're going to be a lot happier. Um, so for me, at £225, I can't recommend it, um, but I can recommend going for one of the X63s um, and then maybe using that extra bit of cash towards something else in your system. It just, yeah, it just makes sense to me. Um, but yeah, ultimately, I think it's a really good call of the, the Z63, really nice. I've enjoyed using it. Um, it's going to be used in um, future builds, um, but yeah, that price tag really bugs me. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> um, guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.